wrapped a bit oh, there he goes quick release far out how cool was that big top water explosion there's another one this feels okay coming out deep seems like a good one Let's just check that drag yeah that's good don't want him coming up at the boat Let's see what we're working with here Nice crock. Nice flatty again. Oh. Beautiful, another one. Oh, he's a jumper. There's another one. Wow. Uh, that's down the gob. RIP to that four inch diesel minnow. Well, there we go. There's another really good flathead in the 50s. They're feeding hard now. I've got to take advantage of this bite window. Send this guy home and uh, get another one. How good is this? Bring on winter. Feels like a good one. Oh, and it just just pulls out like nothing. Oh, that was a good fish. Oh, that was that was so mean. Have a good fish. Whoops. That's another good fish. Come aboard. That's another 50s. I just dropped a fish. Then next cast, bang, straight back on. Four inch diesel minnow gone again. 
it shows that they're feeding really hard at the moment in these drains. How good is low tide fishing? What a fish. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a couple of my, my two top retrievals when I'm fishing these low flats. But first things first, make sure we get a long, nice cast right up into the flat. Now the first technique is just a slow wind. Just making, keeping contact with the bottom, just on a slow wind. Rod tip down. This is definitely the easiest technique. Don't go too fast. If you're learning how to flathead fish, I definitely recommend starting off with this technique. Just making sure we can feel our plastic rubbing against the bottom where the flathead will be sitting. Our second technique is we want to do a nice long cast again. This time we're going to do two hops and then a pause. So hop, hop, pause for a second, hop, hop, and pause for a second. This is probably the most popular flathead soft plastic retrieval that you're going to get. So just two hops and a pause, letting your plastic hit back the uh, hit the bottom of the um, bank. Right again. Nice little buddy. There he is. There we go. Oh. Got off. Oh, there's a flatty right there feeding on prawns. There's a flatty right there. It's, oh, there it goes. Oh, we think we've got a good one here. Oh, I'm tip wrapped. That's not good, is it? Another absolutely cracking fish. Okay, I've just had an awesome two hour bite period where the flathead were going nuts. So before I head off, I thought I'd quickly run through some of the gear that I'm using today. So my absolute go-to flathead fishing combo is an ITX 2500, that's spilled with 10 pound platypus braid that's got a TT black mamba three to six kilo rod down to a 15 pound stealth fluorocarbon leader four inch diesel minnow quarter ounce jig head 
That is about everything you need to start catching flathead. I'll quickly run through my lighter setup. So this here is a 1000 ITX with a one to three kilo black mamba rod. So a little bit lighter if I want a bit more of a settled presentation. But yeah, I've had an absolutely awesome morning today fishing at low tide. As this cooler weather comes in, the uh, flatheads start coming on the tree. So make sure you get out in the water and go catch a couple. Cheers for watching. I'll see you on the water.